morning, everyone. Hey, good morning, good morning. Welcome all you new folks and welcome back everybody to Loving It on Keto. Hey, you guys, as you can tell, I am not dressed for work. Had a migraine, needed to sleep it off, so I did. Um, I had to get up and take some um, medication for that and then go back to bed to sleep it off. So I called in sick today with a migraine. So I feel better, the medicine has worked, but I always feel heavy headed, like a, like a, like a, like a hangover, but not, if that makes sense. My head feels big and heavy, but you guys, I <laughs> am excited. No comment from Feels you. Feels like it's big Harry. and heavy. Okay, sorry. Ooh, Marty. Marty's behind the camera. He's being mean to me. Not today. <gasps> but I'm excited because I have some wonderful news. You got a big head? It's full of brains. Mm -hmm. It's full of brains. Yeah, sure is. Anyway, you guys, today on, on our Scare the Weight Off in October, it's weigh-in day. It is weigh-in day. It's a special day. 16 hour fast or eight hour window. It's a regular keto foods day, you guys. Use your macros. Take a walk. I don't think I'm gonna be walking or moving very much because my head like is following me. I move and it follows <laughs> me and hits me in the head. Yeah. It does, it does. Anyway, you guys, with that, I'll remind you that everything that you eat the day before, sometimes two days prior, can cause issues with weight. It can cause a stall in weight. Um, I started getting my migraine. I, I kept getting up and going to the bathroom throughout the night and about mm, five-ish, four-ish, before my alarm would have gone off, I started having uh, an aura. I get uh, optical aura with my migraine. So I had to get up, take my medicine, drink enough fluids so that they went down and then tried to get some sleep but then Sally's in a routine. She wants her love and snuggles and all the good things. So I was able to sleep in, get that through my system. So I feel a little bit better, but I may, I'm light sensitive when I have a migraine. So if I'm blinking a lot, that's why. But anyway, let me share what we had yesterday, you guys. Oh, Harry, when you do it, you can't, you can't. I didn't touch it. Well, somebody touched it. Wasn't it wasn't me. Nah, somebody touched it. Protein sparing bun with my sausage keto gravy leftovers with the nine ounce ground turkey chili. Protein sparing modified bread, which was my new apple spice cinnamon bread. It was delicious. Collagen MCT oil powder and two teaspoons key two creamer. Sorry, it's blurry. Something went across it. It wasn't me. Wasn't me either. Okay, well, we'll blame it on Marty then. No. 4% was it, carbs. Was it, was it Sally, she's. 7 grams, 42% fat for a total of 38 grams, 54% protein for 111 grams. Total calories were 816 on a protein sparing modified fast day. Harry had 5 ounces ground beef, but I think it turned out to be a little less because you took out the beef that had the, yeah, fat. the fat on it. 3 ounces of chicken. Nine ounces of the ground turkey chili, and that was delicious, and it's going to be even better today because it sat overnight in the mm -hmm. delicious, delicious flavors. Mm -hmm. Protein sparing modified fast bread. Yes, the apple cinnamon bread last night. Collagen, three tablespoons key two creamer. He had a total of 2% carbs for a total of 3 grams. 30% fat for a total of 28 grams, 68% protein for a total of 142 grams, total calories 844. You guys. So I wasn't listening. What do you mean you weren't? What? What is today? Friday. No. Eat wise. Oh, today is a 16 hour fast and then we get to break it by eating regular keto foods today. oh okay good i was hoping it was another yeah. day was kind yeah because i got the butter and that's another thing i did this morning i forgot to take out the butter because i wanted my cinnamon apple bread toasted with butter i put it in the microwave too long and it i took it out and i got oh she butter got it everywhere. everywhere i melted it i got butter everywhere it's just terrible it's just terrible yeah, see it? It's floating in there. But the good news is I have good news. Thank goodness the migraine started this morning because, you guys, I got on the scale. You guys, I am excited because I have 
an all-time new low. Woo! Let's hear it. Let's hear it. Yeah. I'm telling you, I need it. I'm gonna be in the 160s when I go to Disneyland. That's that's right. I am. I shouldn't have done that. I had a whoosh. You guys, Harry had a whoosh. I now weigh 172.2. Pounds, yes, indeed. Mm -hmm. I went down eight tenths of a pound. Yep. Harry had a whoosh. Woo! One sixty-six point two. Yeah, well, six I tenths of a go. pound. I got look. eight tenths ago just to get down. That's to right. All -time That's low. right. Look, you guys, look. Woo! Yep, Less than is. two pounds to there get into is. the one sixties. This is a race, Harry. This is a race. A race. I already won the race. I'm in the sixties. I've been in the sixties for a long time. You're bragging? Yes, I am. You have the right to brag. I'm bragging. You have the right to brag, Mr. Harry Shinsky. Yes, indeed. Uh, yes, you do. Yes, you do. I'm bragging. Okay. Well, let's go to the big board so you can brag some more. What? Come on down, Harry Shinsky. He's upset because see the t-shirt he has on? You guys, it's a 2XL. This yeah, can't that, be. I, no. I, you shrank the you know what? No, turn around. You've got it folded in. See? Look at that. Now take it out. Take it out. Oh, I think this one's an XL. I'll have yeah, to look. But let me see. This one ain't an XL. Still, it's, it's, it's getting big. And you, those are your new pants. Are they going to fall down? Yeah, I got them up. Right. Yeah, 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 yeah. I put them up at the widest area. I got to find Harry another one of these t-shirts because it's so cool. When I was like really heavy, it was like putting pants on an egg with legs. Yeah, you had to wear suspenders, your pants. Yeah, I had to wear suspenders. You guys, he wore suspenders for a long time. Because yep. he couldn't, couldn't hold them up over his it belly. Was, it was all, all my, it was all here. Was yeah. Like, yeah. Yeah. More suspenders. All, all right. Time. So, okay. so, so today's weigh-in, you guys, make sure you leave us a comment. What do you weigh? Yeah, today's weigh-in day. Yep. How much weight have you lost on the October Scare the Weight Off yeah, Challenge? For, well, to this point, yeah. Friday, this Friday, work. Friday, three yeah. weigh ins. Yep. Yeah. Okay, so 172, when do you reach an all time new low? Look, from the time we went out to eat, look, 174, yeah. 174, I mean 175, 174, 173, 172. Can you believe ooh, that? Now ooh, look at ooh. that. I mean, if you really got to look at this, how she's diving all of a sudden, it's like boom, but like she's just. Yeah. So. Your body's like probably already down to where you're going to be, where you're going to land. It's just getting rid of all the water to get down to that point. You yeah. know what I mean? Yeah. Let's see what I do tomorrow because I yeah. had to take naproxen and I had to I'm take my fever few and stuff. Tomorrow for you. With migraine. Because I want to know whether if uh, naproxen bothers you. Yeah. Me too. I me know too. Tylenol screws me all up. Yeah. So, anyways, that's where we're at. And look, we had. We had the bread buns. You had, God, we had a lot of stuff. Isn't it great that we can turkey, have we had sweet bread, treats? Turkey, had chicken, had ground beef. And I, and we still went down that. You know, this. once you find out what really works chocolate for Chocolate orange you, cake. Yeah, we had the uh -huh. chocolate. Once you find out what works for your body, and we're lucky because both Wendy and I seem to be about the same. Works great that... Um, Wow, it's it's like, you know, you need to lose some weight. Oh, okay, I'll just do this for a few days. You know, really buckle down. But anyways, okay, that's enough. I, I'm through talking. Oh. Well, what I think is interesting is, is we can make protein sparing modified fast bread treats. Enjoy a dessert that is not a packaged, pre-packaged one with a whole bunch of garbage and fillers in it. And we can have that and still lose weight. That is what is so awesome. And the interesting thing about protein sparing modified fast bread dough as the base, you get full. You can't, I cannot overeat on it because it fills you up with high protein so quickly that I'm like, I could no more pig out on a whole loaf of cinnamon bread like I could have once upon a time. If I had made real homemade cinnamon bread, I would have used a, a, a stick of butter oh, yeah. and sat and ate the whole dang yeah. thing. And I can't do this with the protein sparing modified fast bread. It is so filling. I think number one, 
it's because it is so much protein because well, that's what it is see bef when we didn't have the bread wendy would come in at night and she would toast regular bread this is before we were keto or right what. And, right vegan and, vegetarian yeah and she would smother it with peanut butter and then put honey all over the top yes of i that. would and i'm i'm sorry if that's a trigger but i'm trying to make a point here that we were able to substitute that for this and it has worked fantastic yes because we don't need substituting the, sweets. the regular with the protein sparing modified. So fast actually, ones. when you're eating a treat, you're actually helping yourself. Who can say I had a huge piece of delicious fudgy chocolate cake with orange flavored butter cream cheese frosting all over it and wake up thinner the next day? Who can say that they made cinnamon bread? fresh out of the oven, big old one inch thick slice, had it with a cup of sweet coffee, yeah, uh, and wake up at a new all time low. Me, I did. Yes, indeed. So I am very excited and I'm not saying you guys have to make the sweet treats. I'm not saying you have to make the cakes, but for Harry and I, it has been a blessing and a godsend. Because we get to, we do, we are not depraved uh -uh. for any food. Uh, not I'm not jealous. You want pizza? I can make yummy pizza, better than oh, any yeah. packaged frozen pizza out on the market, oh, oh, as yeah. far as I'm concerned. Because oh, I can make it my definitely. way, and I can make it with protein spray modified fast bread. So if I want a juicy steak, I can have a juicy steak. You know, uh, if I want mashed potatoes, I make the best cauliflower oh, yes. mashed potatoes with butter oh and all God. the good stuff in it you know so i That's don't feel had in a while. depraved at we're having it thanksgiving oh okay good yeah we're having that for thanksgiving and we're gonna have loaded broccoli casserole and we're gonna have a big old turkey and it's gonna be delicious yeah yes, it be is. great but you guys i want to have some of my bread and butter for breakfast but i want you guys to come back because i make see this over here i'm making something with that because i want it got my recipe right here got my recipe right here and we'll be sharing that in the next segment but for right now I'm having some bread. I'm having some cinnamon, apple, apple cinnamon bread. Excuse well, let me. Let me see that. Excuse me. And look how nice that stayed. Yeah, man. Where did I put my cutting board? Oh, here it is. It would have bit me. Oh, yeah, I got to see this. I like this part. Something satisfying about that. I don't know what it is. Really? It's just, yeah, it's satisfying to me. Well, this piece here. Who gets that? Get Whoever wants it. Can't get it in the toaster. Yeah, you can. You can get that in not the toaster. Not that. Not the other little piece. Well, okay, so fine. Oh, Waste not wanting that. So chic. Mm. I'll share. Because you snapped your fingers so nicely. <laughs> <laughs> okay. There's the bread. Oh yeah, man! Watch the look at that. Ugh. Oh ho! Oh, look at that. That's going in the toaster. What else? This one. I'm gonna make the big, the big loaf for. Oh ho! Oh, look, look at, at that. that. Ooh. Ooh yeah. That's my piece right there. Okay, you can have both those pieces. Mm. Cool. What are you having? I'm going to make myself some of the big loaf, too. Let's see what comes in next. It's like each slice is a surprise. It's, it is. It's a surprise. Look. Doesn't that look like the uh, on-the-shelf bakery cinnamon bread? Well, theirs was a lot. They put a lot of, like, brown... Coloring, coloring and food and coloring stuff and stuff and to make you think look, you were getting more. Yeah, yeah. It, it was loaded with all kinds of wild stuff. Well, I'll put these little pieces in here because, like last night, I cooked, I cut the littler piece. Yeah, mm, man. And you guys, with a cup of sweet coffee or collagen coffee, it's so good. 
It's so good. Anyway, I gotta get two plates. We'll come back when it's buttered cinnamon toast. Yes, indeed. Okay, it's going. Okay, so I use these because the top is soft and sometimes it sticks inside and that way I don't get electrocuted. Taking it out. It's a great little toaster. Oh man, yeah, KitchenAid. Mm -hmm. And it's a bagel size too, which is nice. Now, take my butter. Yes, indeed. Just smear some butter all over this puppy. Oh yeah, look at that. Oh mm -hmm. man, you guys should have smell-o-vision. Oh yeah. You should be able to smell this all day long. Mmm. Mm, about two teaspoons on each, I think. A little over, maybe a tablespoon on each, but you guys, check my bread. Toasted apple spice cinnamon bread for breakfast with coffee every day of the week. Oh, yeah. Look at the butter on this. Look at, can you see that butter on there? That every day looks like bakery <gasps> deliciousness, doesn't it? I want to try it with the butter on it. It's a good place to bite. Ooh, this one, right here. Here's the place. Ugh. Is it good? Oh, oh. yeah. Hmm. All that butter and everything on there, and the cinnamon, the apple. Oh, the, oh yeah, it's all there. Mmm, that is so good. Okay, mm. let's go eat. Mm -hmm. I'm not about to eating. Mmm. Okay, Harry, which one do you want? You like the more toasty yeah, one. Yeah, I want that one. Now I want to get my want butter going. this one, right? Cheers. Because you like the really toasty one. Yep. Mm, yeah. Look at that. Oh, oh my gosh. Ho, ho, ho. I feel sorry for you guys right now. Not really. <laughs> well, let's go eat. You got your coffee? Yep. Okay, you guys, come back in the next segment when I make something delicious in the oven. Got to eat now. Yes, indeed. I've got two pounds of the Jenny O 99% uh, 1% fat ground turkey breasts in this pan. And I'm going to kind of make an impromptu quick chili. Just a real quick chili. So I'm just going to take my uh, turkey meat. And I have got ground cumin, smoked paprika, nutritional yeast, organic seasoned salt, California onion, garlic granules, and some chipotle chili, and some beef base keto chow for that extra protein for our high protein modified, uh, high protein, <laughs> protein sparing modified fast. Sorry you guys, my brain is like, I worked overtime today on a project and my brain is not working. I'm gonna put in a half a teaspoon of all of this just to give it a little bit more chili flavor because the actual beef base has a great flavor all of its own. It really does. But I just want to give it a little bit more taco or a little bit more chili centric, right? Just a little bit more chili centric. And I love, 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 you can never have enough of smoked paprika. I adore smoked pa paprika. I do. We're going to taste. We're going to taste later. But I want to get this in. Uh, 
I always start with less because it's better to under season and add than to try to adjust it because you've added way too much of something. I'm just really tired. I don't even want to make meatballs. I just want something wholesome, nourishing, and delicious. Here's my chili. Just give it a little bit of a kick. And for this, I'm going to pour my nutritional yeast in because I kind of know what I like the look of. Gives it a cheesy taste. Oh yeah, I really like We it. used it like crazy when we were vegan. We love it. Now, because this is so lean, you need to add water. Right here, I've got uh, three quarters of a cup of water just to start using it. Um, and at this point, I'm gonna spill it. Because there is no fat in this turkey. I mean, it sticks to everything, so. I read one day that you put coffee. Yeah, I know, to deglaze. I don't get that. Well, yeah, I, I asked, I, a couple people said they use coffee in their gravy or their sausage gravy. And yeah. Instant coffee, as a matter of fact. Well, and I it? just, I can't wrap my head around that in, in, my, in, in my gravy. So I wanted somebody, I asked for the recipe or a, a explanation. You guys who are doing that, please tell me how much you use. What specific, is it a brown gravy you're making? Is it a white gravy? How do you incorporate and deglaze the pan with a coffee and not get a coffee flavor? Yeah. Because I am not Unless it adds. a professional cook. I don't know. Yeah, and that's what I want to know. Right? Yep. Inquiring minds want to know. Hey, if there's something good out there, I want to know want, about we it. We want to know, man. That's right. We eat. Stop. Yes, we do. So just brown. You can use turkey. You can use chicken. I use the lowest fat meat on my protein sparing modified fast day that I can. It smells good. Smell it. Can you smell oh, yeah, it? Oh yeah, I smell it. If I wanted spicy taco, keto chow. And of course I'm out. So I've got to order some more. Seems like I'm always running out because I'm always using it. You know what? Instead of beef, I'm going to use tomato basil. Because you would get a tomato sweet back taste when you have chili. So strike that. My brain's thinking. My brain's thinking. My brain's thinking that to stay cool. I need a bigger counter, Harry. I need a bigger counter. So I'm gonna put a scoop of this. We can move instead. again. No. No, no, no. You guys can attest to that, right, Helen? Oh my gosh, Helen. Helen moved. Did she? Yes, she got hurt in the process and oh, moved that's and, right. Yeah, I she moved across state. Man. Yeah. Man. Oh, you know what? I don't have one. Okay, so here's the deal. In another bowl. I need a bowl. I'm gonna put my water in. It's wet. Good, because it's water. That water is very wet, you know. Thank you, dear. That was cute. I'm going to put a scoop of keto chow tomato in there. I bet the whisk is wet too because you just washed it too. Yeah. Stop cutting my camera. Get your little camera out of my way, Harry. Move it. Move it. I'm going to pour that in. Oh, yeah, that smells good. Almost missed it. I did not no, miss I it. No, I almost oh, missed it. Oh, you almost missed it. I said I'm going to pour it in. Yeah, as you're pouring it in. Well, it's good. It smells good, too. Uh-huh. Really 
smells good. Okay, so I, I need, I think I'm going to use a teaspoon. So I'm going to do a, a total of one teaspoon of cumin because of the tomato. It's a little sweeter. So it's going to cut that up a little bit. I'm going to put, good. I know it does. I'm going to put a little bit, I'm going to do a teaspoon of chili because we like it yeah, hot I like mine and hot. spicy. I like it hot, man. We do. Now, keto chow is already salted. I already put a half of a teaspoon of the seasonings in here. But what I want to let this do is I want to let this just cook and marry. That just smells so delicious, wasn't it? Oh, yeah. So it's boiling. I'm going to turn it down to simmer. I'm going to get the lid. I think it's a wet lid. Yes, it is. Oops. My water's really wet today, so. I'm telling it, you what it is. I'm gonna get a spoon and taste it because I wanna make sure that I've got enough seasonings for you and I in it to make it taste chili-like. Excuse me, I'm gonna open it and stir it and I don't want the steam to get on the lens. Remember, chicken and turkey don't have the same flavor as beef, so sometimes you have to use more seasoning because it just, to me, has no taste when it's ground. So I'm going to taste the broth. And? It needs a little bit, I, so a teaspoon of garlic total because I only did a half. Plenty of, um, I taste the cumin, need a little bit of garlic. So this is a great dish to eat if you suspect you have a vampire in the house. Oh, okay, is that it? Well, it is Halloween pretty soon. And then I do want to put a teaspoon total of this in there too. What is that? That's the uh, Redmond. Uh, all of these are going to have a full teaspoon. So it's because I'm doubling the batch of the meat. I got two pounds in there. I'm putting a teaspoon of everything in. This is my smoked paprika. <gasps> Ooh, saved by the whatever. Love nutritional yeast. Yes, it's got one or two carbs in it, so just count one or two carbs. That's what we can do. Add them, add them on to the end. I think Sally's sore. I think she is too, because she's been... Mo she moved for five hours. Well, she followed the people that were in watching the puppies. Okay, you guys, so I, I put in a total of a teaspoon of ground cumin, a teaspoon of Redmond, real salt, seasoned salt. I put in a teaspoon of smoked paprika. I put in a teaspoon of chipotle chili. You can use regular chili, whatever chili you have. I put in a teaspoon of granulated onion, teaspoon of garlic, and I put in probably a tablespoon of nutritional yeast or a teaspoon, let me see. No, about a tablespoon. I think I put in about a tablespoon. So you guys, I'm gonna let that all marry. I'm gonna put this all away. Oh, something I did not put in. Maybe I'll put a little bit of uh, cilantro in. Here we go, about a teaspoon. Dinky winky bit of cilantro. Anyway, you guys, that's what we've got. We're come back when it's chilly. It's going. Okay, you guys, I added two tablespoons of Alterna spicy tomato ketchup. If you guys had um, tomato paste 
or your ketchup. I would use it. I use this because it's a little spicy. It's got a little kick. You need a little bit of more tomato taste to that. At least I needed that little back end sweetness that added to the chili and it's perfect. So we're having chili. I gotta measure it out. nice and hearty and leftovers will go beautiful over bread or rolls or buns or just on its own oh yeah i did that the other day didn't i yep and that was so good this mine i don't need as much Anyway, if you guys have your favorite taco seasoning or your favorite chi chili seasoning, use it because it's absolutely delicious. I'm going to take a quick taste test of this. Mmm. Ooh. Oh, yeah. Like it, right? Mm -hmm. I know. Now, start off with a quarter of a teaspoon of chili and add because this chili, my chipotle chili, has a kick. It's wonderful. Okay, you guys, I want some comfort food. I am going to make some egg custard, and I'm going to make it keto chow style. Now, if you guys don't have keto chow, or you guys, uh, you know, live in an area where you can't get keto chow, please use your, uh, you can use any milk protein powder or any whey protein powder or your favorite protein powder and then add the flavoring to match and make it that way but i'm making banana protein custard that's what i'm making today so now i'm gonna put in 189 grams of egg whites because i wanted high protein and protein sparing so it says that a serving is three tablespoons, which is 46 grams. So I'm doing the equivalent of 189 grams or four egg whites. So 189 grams. I asked Alexa, that's what she said. There we go. But. I'm also adding one egg with an egg yolk because you need a little bit of fat for the keto chow uh, fat soluble vitamins so I'm just adding one plus I like the color right yep. I like the color kerplunk kerplunk it goes two cups of almond milk but you can substitute any we can't drink almond milk so I am using so delicious dairy free organic coconut milk Put in two cups, which would be 16 ounces. So I'm going to add that in. There we go, 16 ounces. Now I can clear that. I am going to put in a teaspoon. I want banana to pop, you guys, and I do not have heavy tasters. So I'm putting in a teaspoon, one teaspoon of cinnamon into the mix. And actually I'm gonna use this teaspoon for something different. So let me get this one. I like this one because it goes right in. It goes right in, thank you so much again, because I love it because it just goes right in to the mix. There we go. Just a teaspoon of cinnamon. Granberry Farms Gremlin Original Banana Cream Pie. And I noticed that any time I do eggs, it absorbs flavor and nullifies the flavor because it tastes great raw, but it's much, it's not as flavorful when it's cooked. So I'm putting in a teaspoon because I did the drop test before and I really like that. And there's no bitterness to these drops either. And they're, remember, these are sugar-free. There's no, there's no sugar flavoring in them whatsoever. 
So, got that in. Ah, that smelled that banana when you went Can wide. you smell the banana? But I also want some sweetener. Excuse me, Harry. And I want creme brulee flavor, right? So I'm going to use better stevia. So I'm going to get my teaspoon back. My bad. My bad. Because everybody's got a different level of sweetener depending on your taste. So I'm just going to put in about a half, about like that. That English toffee going, but I'm going to taste it before I put it in the oven. Now, here's the clencher. I'm putting in banana keto chow. This is going to make it really high protein. Oh, yeah. It's going to give you the vitamins, the minerals. Now, if you don't have banana protein, you can use even collagen. You can use your flavored collagen if you want. You can use your favorite protein mix, but I'm using keto chow because it's got, in this packet, it's got one third the daily. Uh, supplements for vitamins, minerals, and electrolytes too. So why not use it? And it's high protein, you guys. You guys get 26 grams of protein and the taste is yum deliumptious as well. So just saying. So I'm putting that in. Now I'm blending it on low because I don't want to whip the bubbles in. I just want to mix it really good. So I'm just going to let it mix. I'm going to go in and scrape that off. whiter in color than it would be if I had more eggs in it, but I'm keeping it protein sparing, doing it this way. So I'm just going to go in and carefully get the powdered stuff that stays on the side, put it down into the mix. And I'm going to taste this because I want it sweet and delicious too. Ooh. Taste this. Man. Mm -mm -mm. Taste it. Does that mean a little bit more sweetener? No, it tastes like a banana. banana. It tastes just like, just a, like a ripe cut of banana. banana. Up in here. A ripe banana. Oh, man. Wow. With a little bit. Of uh, uh, cinnamon. Yeah. I got the cinnamon it. on the back yeah. end. Yeah. yeah. Oh, I like that. Now, cooking with egg whites instead of four eggs. So, you get your ramekins, you put them in a deep dish because they have to go into a water bath. So, come over, Harry. Can you come and look? Which way? So, I'm, I'm going to pour in here. Let me come over on this side. Okay. Sorry, you guys, we haven't done our dishes for today either. So I'm just going to give each one some some of my mix. These ramekins have lids, and they are on our Amazon website. You guys can get 10% off of Keto Chow if you want. Use the links down in the description below if you want to try the banana. Because, oh my gosh. Okay, so I need... It's just for five. I wasn't sure if the white, how the whites would come out. And these are larger than my white remkins are. These are a cup. We'll have to arm wrestle for the other one, Harry. But that's all right. Yeah, that means you're gonna win. He who cooks wins. So I'm going to put this like this. Now, you want to take hot water. You want to fill your water up just to right below the top. You want to get it in the... This is going to help make the custard. You don't want to fill it so full, probably about... A stripe below the rim. Yeah, you can see on the blue one. Yeah. Okay. Harry's going to have to put this through. My hands are shaking today, you guys. And that's because of my migraine. Sometimes my hands shake a lot. And they're, they're, they're pretty shaky today. So Harry's going to do that. And we'll come back, you guys, when we pull the egg custard out. Because I have one more step that you guys haven't seen. And I'm going to do it today.
at least on my, maybe I have, but I'm going to share with you guys anyway, because it's going to push this up an entire notch. Anyway, come back when it's protein egg custard. Yes, indeed. Okay, you guys, you know I always have to make it Wendy's way, so I'm going to make a creme brulee crust on top. And I have got the my favorite Bastie Sugar Replacement. It's monk fruit allulose brand. You can get Wholesome Yum in Canada, you guys. Now, I don't know about Europe, but you can get it at Wholesome Yum. This is the most like brown sugar, and there is no cooling effect because it is... There's no cooling effect because it's monk fruit and allulose blend. Okay, you guys, go up to our website. We've got a store where there's a link that you guys can go right to it and order it on this one on Amazon, correct? Mm -hmm. Okay, and I love it, you guys, because if you look at this, look, it's just like brown sugar. It comes out like brown sugar. Look. It's brown sugar all Smells day like long. It too, man. Smells like it, acts oh, like yeah. it. It's brown sugar. Yep. So I am giving, I gotta get just a little bit more because of the big, bigness of it. So I'm putting in a quarter of a cup. I'm putting in half teaspoon of cinnamon. And I am gonna close this up. Yeah, it's moist like brown sugar. I mean, it acts just like brown sugar. It's, it's, it's awesome. Oh, it smells like it, looks like it, you tastes know, like it. You know, monk fruit, weird. powdered sugar, and swerve is drier. It's a drier sugar. It melts, but it's just drier. So I'm going to take this and mix my cinnamon into it. If you guys don't want the cinnamon, you don't like the cinnamon, don't use the cinnamon. But I just want the cinnamon in the mix. You have to kind of use a fork because it is wet. It's moist. It's wet. It's brown sugar, just like brown sugar. Looks, tastes, cooks, smells like brown sugar. They nailed it as far as I'm concerned. Yeah, right now, if you guys could smell this, you'd be overwhelmed with brown sugar smell. Now, I am going to use banana cream pie because I want my creme brulee topping to have banana. So I'm just going to go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, which is about half a teaspoon because I want banana all the way through. I want banana foster. If you guys have ever had banana foster, here's what they do. They bring this a flambeau dish in front of you with a little, little uh, open flame you know what's that stuff called in the little can that you put underneath the sterno heater? sterno can then they proceed to make a car brown sugar cinnamon all the goodness vanilla and they stir that up and they get it bubbling and then they slice banana and they throw that in there and it caramelizes and they're cooking it in front of you but wait they have a dish of delicious vanilla ice cream on the side they bring that vanilla ice cream over and then they scoop that banana with the caramel sauce and pour it all over there then they take their whipped cream and that is banana foster and that's what i'm cooking today mash the banana flavoring into this god it smells now you guys go into the kitchen get a, a bunch of cinnamon and Taste it. A banana what? and hold it under your nose. That's what it smells mm. like right here. Oh yeah. Yeah, does that work? Oh, yeah. I could just She like just it. tried some. I just I just just tried some. Mm-hmm. Okay, Harry. I'm gonna give you a little taste test. Oh wow. I like that. Like you could just like eat yeah, it with a spoon. I could just sit there with a spoon and eat that. Anyway, you guys, we'll come back when I do this extra step on my banana egg custard. Yes, indeed. Hey, Harry, can you please bring my banana custard out, please? It's gonna be a little jiggly, and that's fine. Then I want them up on top so I can put my topping on. Then they gotta go back in the oven. That's fine. So okay. you want it right here? Yep, that's fine. Go ahead and close that up. 
Do what? Do what? I'll trade you places so I can put the topping on. Trade you places so I can put the topping on. I'm gonna put like the, oops, I'm gonna put this on top and then we're gonna put it under the broiler. I'm gonna spread it out in just a second. Make sure I have it. Well, you probably won't need to. I bet you it'll melt right into the, like a glazed top. That's exactly what I want. Creme brulee. You know how they take yeah. the top and use a little. Usually use a burner, but your burner's got doesn't have any uh, butane in it. So I put about oh two teaspoons, half a teaspoon. Just move it around. Now I need this in on the top shelf. Okay. On the top, right? Yes. Like that? In more. Thank you. Okay, I'll trade to places. But I want to time it because I don't want to burn the brown sugar glaze that's going on top. I'm watching like a proud parent. I'm making delicious banana foster are you egg supposed, custard. Are, are you supposed to leave the door open? You can have it open because it's cooking from the top. I want that heat going down on top. It's fine. Okay, one minute wasn't enough. Another minute. don't want it to burn. That's the whole thing. So it's going to be two minutes in just a second. Okay. Two minutes. Go ahead and bring it out. Now try not to jiggle it. Oh yeah, look at that. Mm. Stuff really melts. Good. Yeah, it's beautiful. I am so excited. Yeah, we're just gonna leave that in the bath. Look at that, you guys. We're just gonna leave that in the bath. I'm gonna leave it in the bath to totally cool down all by itself. Oh man, smell the banana. Smell the caramel, smell the cinnamon. I am so excited. Woo, man, you guys. We'll come back in 30 minutes and give this a taste test. We are drawing first for the Granberry Farms drops. You needed to have put in a comment that was hashtag gremlin. No spaces, hashtag gremlin. So now, Harry, I've got it ready to go for the drops. You ready? Yeah, go. It's for the drops. Sandy S. Sandy S. You win. With hashtag gremlin, you win these delicious drops. So make sure you send us an email to lovingitonketo at gmail.com. Give us your full name, your mailing address, and a telephone number. Send it to our Gmail account, lovingitonketo at gmail. The second one is going to be for the two free Keto Chow chocolates and the two free... Let me get them out, you guys you can't see them. I decided to give you two free beef base soup with it. Oh, well, I added three. So look, you get three of the beef base soup and two chocolate. So you needed to have added hashtag beef, no spaces. This is for the beef and the free... Uh, Chocolate Keto Chow and the Beef Base Broth. 
Elaine Smith. Elaine Smith. You won. So, Elaine, make sure you get us your your name, address, and telephone number. Send us an email to lovingitonketo at gmail.com. Congratulations, Elaine Smith. For the draw number three, which is the grand prize winner, is the October Keto Chow Club box. You needed to put in hashtag chow. Now... Get the comments. It's going through the comments. It's getting unique identifiers. It's filtering out any duplications. Can you see it? Yeah. Start. Mad Veto 55. <laughs> Woo! Man, you guys, that's exciting. So, okay, first prize was the drops. Sandy S., you won the drops. Elaine Smith, you won the chocolate keto chow and the savory beef-based keto chow. So, Mad Vito 55, you won the grand prize. You won the October chow club box so what i need for everybody to do please send me an email loving it on keto at gmail.com harry will put it right here along the screen i need your full name your united states of america address and i need a phone number just in case because i'm going to be sending these out on monday i need this information by sunday okay I need it by Sunday. Sunday is the 17th of October. I need that in my email. If on Monday I don't see it, then you are forfeiting your giveaway prize. And this time I will check my spam. I will check the trash. I will check promotions. I will check all those things to make sure that I find the email that you sent. Okay, and what I'd like you to do, if you guys see this in the comment today, say woohoo, I won drops, or woohoo, I won the chocolate and beef keto chow, woohoo, I won the chow club. That way, I know you've seen that you are a winner, and I'll be looking for your email. That way, if I can't find your email, I can come back to that comment and say, hey, Mad Vito 55. Glad you won, but I didn't get your email for some reason, so please send it to me again. I hope that makes sense, you guys. Anyway, congratulations. Woo! What a great winner. So you're not only sending an email to Wendy with your information, you're also giving us a shout out that you saw that you won when yes. you put it in a comment. Yes. So we want you got to do both things. So we know for sure. Yeah. You guys, so we know for sure, so we don't miss anybody, because we're doing three prizes. And it has, it, that's, you can put that on, on any of the newer videos, you know, and don't come back to that one and write any. No, 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 it. yeah, you can even do it on this one, because you guys are going to see it today. If you guys see it today, whichever one, just let me know, leave me a comment, because I go back through and look at all my comments. I didn't know we had 1,600 Jeez. comments from our giveaway video. I was caught up yesterday. Obviously, there's a lot more of you who joined, so I will be getting caught up. But thank you so much for joining the giveaway, you guys. Please come back on a regular basis because we do giveaways all the time. Matter of fact, I have another giveaway in mind as we speak. Make yes, sure I do. Make sure because we do check. Yes, please make sure you are a subscriber because that really helps our channel grow. Anyway, everybody, we'll come back in the next segment. Oh, you guys, look at this. I'm so excited. Oh, yeah. Mm, 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 mm. Man, Man, that looks good. Let me take one of these delicious nesses. Look at this. Ooh. Mm, mm, mm. I'm going to cut in into it. I want to see it. I want to see it. Yeah, man. Ooh, Ooh look at that. Look at that. Oh, oh, oh. Smell. Yes. Banana Foster all day long. Let's take a taste test, shall we? 
Mm. Did it work? Did oh, it work? and G. Delicious. Yes, indeedy. Cool, it worked. Oh my gosh, you guys. Oh, look at this. It is so good with that caramelized topping. Yes. I don't think I'm focusing. Sorry, well, I'm shaking. My hand's really shaky today, right, baby. Mm. Take it. Take one for the team. Mm. That's the best one I've ever made. Really? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Come try it. Come try it. Okay. Oh, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Come around. No, wait. You got to smell it. Tell me what you smell. Oh, I smell cinnamon. Real strong cinnamon. Mm-hmm. Mm. That smells like really good. Like, I should eat it. That's what it smells like. Mm-hmm. Like, like dessert. That's exactly what it smells like. Something I should not be putting in my mouth. I like having a full bite. Can oh, you see yeah. it? Yeah, custard all the way. Have a taste. Mmm. Isn't that mouth? Tastes just like it. Yeah. Isn't that mouth feel that delicious? No, it creamy? tastes just like creme brulee. Yeah, it does. That's what it reminds me of. Well, it's an egg custard. Oh. But it's got a banana. Can you taste the banana? Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, I taste that out of the. Custard part. Mm -hmm. So, Harry, one out of ten oh, I in the this, pudding. I give this a ten. Yep. Mm -hmm. Okay, well, put your stamp. Wait, wait. Wait, wait, look. Look at this. You got the stuff on the sides. It's like the real thing. Mm. Okay. And you got enough of that gooeyness. Now, we're going to put those in the refrigerator. I don't know if that will firm up or not, which will be delicious, too. If it'll make a crunchy topping or if it'll stay um, like that or not. But, you guys, this is delicious. Oh, my gosh. You guys have to try it. Have oh, to. yeah. You, if you like creme brulee. Oh, oh, this the is The cinnamon, it. the bananas, this is the, it. the caramelization, it's all here. And you guys, because I used egg whites instead of eggs, you've got high protein factor. The wow. high protein, low fat factor in here. So anyway, you guys, woo, I am so excited. See, this way, Harry gets the dark blue. We'll have to fight over the last one, though. We're going to have to arm wrestle. We'll just, you We're going to have to arm half. wrestle. Anyway, you guys, let me get a little um, liner. Um, one thing I want to say is we filmed a lot yesterday, and I made a delicious ground turkey chili that we're going to insert um, in the video to share with you guys that... It's already been in. they already seen it. Well, they have? Yeah. I'm sorry. I didn't know. I didn't know. Anyway, you guys, it's delicious. That's what we're having leftover wise. I've got two leftovers because I didn't go to work today because of my migraine. I've got one for me, the exact same amount, two eight ounce containers of the chili. All right. It freezes really well. Let me share that real quick with everybody because it really does. And it's really good. That is so, super good. We're going to heat that up and have that for our dinner. But you guys, I'm not my 100%. So let me put this in real quick. Sorry. Not too much stuff. And I am going to go and just rest for the rest of the evening. But I wanted to share this because that... Ooh, smell that yeah, chili. Yeah, smell that. <gasps> Whoa. Ooh, that chili smells so good. And if we had some cheese, we could put some on sour cream today. Today is the day you guys could add a dollop of sour cream. You could put your cheese on that. You could put some onions and tomatoes on top and make it your chili. That would be delicious. But I made it during a protein sparing modified fast day. So it works for both. It depends on what you add to it. So anyway, you guys, we are done for the day. Don't forget, winners, we need to see your email address uh, at lovingitonketogmail, your name, your address, your phone number. 
Tomorrow is a refuel your body day. Eat higher end of your regular macros. Stay keto, eat high protein, and move your body. I am so excited that I did uh, my brand new all-time low. I did take an aproxen. I did take medicine for my migraine. I am not having the best day, so we'll see what happens tomorrow on the scale. I'm not worried about it. I'm just going to rest and relax for the rest of the day. Harry's got the hard work because he needs to get this all edited and uploaded for everybody tonight. Anyway, you guys, please remember to like, subscribe, ring the little bell, give me a thumbs up. We'll see you right here tomorrow. I'll get this recipe added. I'll add it and I'll pin it tomorrow to the comments. So you guys have it. And Sally's not here because she got shots this morning. Oh, yes. Sally had to go get her shots. So she's like... She's they said she's going to be sore. Sore and sleepy. Yeah. She had another little flu shot. Yeah, she had so. it in the shoulder. Yeah. So she's over on her couch all sleeping. Anyway, you guys, thank you so much. We'll see you guys tomorrow. Good night.